Welcome to Computer Specialist YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to be disassembling a Gateway GWTN156-1GR Ultra Thin Gateway Laptop. Um, basically what we're going to do here is uh, this one. We basically got on the bottom here, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 screws on the bottom. These two screws are going to be a little bit longer. Um, so really important that you mark these. So if, you put, if you're putting it back together, um, you put these in. If you put the smaller screws in here, uh, they need the longer screws in here to hold the hinges and the screen on. So uh, it's really important if you put these screws in here and vice versa, uh, you can bubble out on the back here or you can break a hinge out. So there. Um, this door right here for people that are new to this model, this is a very rare model I'll pull off. As you can see, we're using uh, the old school ice cube tray. Uh, if you're new to computer repair, uh, don't have a magnet, grab an ice tray. We have it labeled. Uh, I'll explain as I'm dropping the screws in here how we do it. Um, but basically, it works pretty good. I used this for about 15 years before they came out with the magnetic stuff. Um, so with that being said, we're going to put the screws in here. Uh, let's get something to pry open the door. This is an NVMe option. Uh, on this laptop, which I'll explain more once we get inside here. Um, it has two spots for the drive. This is the newer style NVMe. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to pull these screws out uh, just to show you. Uh, yeah, that's the longer screw. So we have two marked bottom here. So what we do is we put the, for that reason, a lot of laptops have similar sets up. We'll put the longer screws in there and then the smaller ones in the other one. So when we put it back together, we'll remember that. Uh, yeah, you could label them that way, but you, know, you should be able to, on a model like this, it ain't too tricky on there. Um, so basically, I'll give you a rundown of this laptop. So this is, a, you know, we're a computer repair shop in upstate New York. Um, this was dropped off. We do free estimates. Uh, it was dropped off. It had a bad keyboard. This is a unibody keyboard design. Um, basically, to fix a few keys on a keyboard, you have to replace the whole keyboard touchpad. And parts are pretty expensive on this, you know, because it's rare to find all that. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, community, customers communicate with us um, the entire time until it came time to pay, or not so much pay, but um, take us up on uh, repair, and they didn't. Uh, we have a store policy where after four months, uh, the laptop becomes ours. It's now six months later just because we've been busy, and uh, so we're going to part it out on eBay. Uh, just because the price of screens and everything, it's more profitable on eBay for us than to fix it and repair it. So, with that being said, uh, so you pry this up. Um, this is one where the bottom actually pulls off the touchpad. So, the key here is to get the bottom off on there. Um, take something plastic. Do not use a metal screwdriver here. You'll mess it all up. You know, grab a plastic guitar pick. You know, you can buy these iFixit uh, repair things. And basically, slide over here. I like to do it like an angle. Just, you know, go slow around here. Um... Even if it pops off, usually go around because sometimes the clips are, they'll hang in there. Uh, once you get there uh, with your thumbs, it's always good to press down in here because you got these hinges here and you don't want to break out any hinges on there. Uh, once you get to this part, you know, it's good to just slowly work around. You don't want to, you know, sometimes these clips break, um, you know, but if you can avoid breaking them, it's better when you put them back for more secure. Uh, go along, as you see, this one popped off pretty easy. All right, so. So there it is. Um, it pretty much popped off right there. Um, what is there? So when you take yours apart, um, from the looks of this right off the bat, it looks like uh, somebody was in here for multiple reasons. That came off pretty easy. And there's also usually a little rubber microphone uh, thing in there, which I don't see in here laying around anywhere. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're doing yours, take that little rubber piece off, you're going to need it. You know, it's not a big deal if it's missing, it just redirects the microphone out the side there. Uh, so anybody that's new to going into these or, um, you know, the first thing you'll notice is the battery looks aftermarket. That's not, that's actually a gateway lab uh, battery. The first time I looked at them, that's what I thought. Um, so here's the drive. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to take the drive out. So this is the boot drive in here. This is what's called, um, uh, M.2 SATA SSD. So this is not an NVMe. Uh, we'll pull that out. And if you notice on the drive, you have two notches on here. 
So basically, um, they're called M and B keys. Um, I don't have an NVMe drive laying around, but basically, M and B, M, uh, NVMe drive will only have one port. It'll have just the M key only. Um, so this model will will actually boot to either. So if you're looking to upgrade this and you're looking at this video to take it apart and figure out what's inside this thing. Um, recommendation would be to take this out or leave it in as a secondary drive. Um, put an NVMe over in here, uh, the screws right here, you can install one right in there, and basically um, do that. What I would advise, you know, well, if you get different sizes, you could do, but leave the one out while you reload it. When you're all done, throw the other one in and make sure you boot to the NVMe and can wipe out this drive as a secondary drive uh, for storage. Um, but, you know, very rare, not, not too many laptops have that in common. All right, so. Um, one thing you want to do once you're in here is uh, unhook the battery. Uh, that's just to basically avoid um, the laptop from turning on. I like to take a plastic. Once again, you know, it's always good to have plastic tools for this. So if you slip or you don't short nothing or break nothing, well, so basically you want to unhook the battery. Uh, basically, you're doing that so it doesn't turn on. A lot of these have weird sleep things. Uh, right now, without the power being in here and the battery being off, there's really no way this thing could turn on. Um, so we're going to take the battery out first. Uh, the battery has five screws. Uh, you see the clips broke right here. So and I don't see any pieces laying around here. So another, another reason to believe this thing was worked on um, by somebody else for some reason in the past. So you have five screws. Third screw here. Um, for people looking to replace the battery, um, this is pretty as simple as you can get. Uh, I would, it's probably very hard to, uh, we'll be selling this battery on eBay in a little bit, uh, but it's probably very hard to find these batteries, um, the original one. But the model on this is N like new, V like Victor, hyphen 509067-3S hyphen like Sam. Um, so basically that's what the, you know, default, uh, gateway battery looks like you know like i said it does have an aftermarket look to it you know um but this is like legit uh you know the pin configuration is right there um it's got three black space one white two spaces three red so uh you know make sure you match yours up to the you know when you're buying ones make sure you match it up uh the people do list them wrong and all kinds of stuff on there um, so this is it. So this is the unibody keyboard we talked about basically to replace the touch or keyboard on here. Um, now you will see people are selling these keyboards with just a keyboard. Um, you know, you can bust out all these rivets. You can put in, you can, it's a lot of work. It's going to be an aftermarket keyboard, which ain't going to be too nice. And, you know, but as a last result, if you can't find a touchpad on here, um, you know, it's hard to find it and very expensive to find it. Uh, we'll be selling this one, but it's going to be sold with bad keys in it, so it's just going to be for people looking to repair just a keyboard or use the keys or touchpad or whatever they want. Um, this metal bar up here is actually just a support bar. Um, you know, um, it's basically, I'm not going to take it off because uh, there's no need to, uh, but this is what stops us from flexing. As you can see, this thing is very thin and flexing in there. Um, so for people, once again, wondering where's there. All right, so we'll start first by the um, keyboard connector, which is uh, right here. So there's a piece of foam on here, right here. So you can uh, peel that back. You know, if you can, like I said, if you plan on putting it back on, try to peel it up with the glue. Um, for the people that are new out there, um, you know, these these clips that are holding, you know, 99% of the laptops that you'll know, be working on, um, you, you want to basically pry this up. So, you know, you use your fingernail, you know, if you're, plastic thing basically you want to just basically plug it up and uh as you can see this one's gonna be a little bit tricky because it has um glue on it from the the double side tape from the the connector that's probably put on so the top presses down on there so this doesn't come off you know probably a little overkill but there so once you have that pried back it'll come up in about a little more than you know 90 degrees on there um you're basically uh, just wiggle that out. Um, should pop right out, no problem. Uh, touchpad, same thing. You got two of them. One, two. Uh, once again, with these, I just grab this plastic and just wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. All right, so that's that on there. Um, 
Over here, we're going to have the LCD display. Uh, this has tape, which is holding us down, so I always think it's just best to pull the tape off, especially in our case where we're not putting this back together, but, you know, keep the tape in your little screw hole there. Uh, this one's going to flip back, so the opposite of the other ones you just did. Uh, you know, once again, should come off pretty easy. Don't force it. Uh, there. This cable, just wiggle it out. Um, I'm looking, this looks like it only has one. So on this side, you're going to have three screws. This is to take the screen off. Uh, this screen probably, you know, with the top of my head, it's probably going to sell for close to $200, um, if I remember correctly, on when we had similar to this. Uh, hence why we're not going to really repair this to sell. Uh, you know, by the time you order the keyboard and do all the work and which would be the touchpad on this whole case and you make the same amount of money just parting it out um so it's three screws on this side too uh, all three screws come out uh, i'm gonna work this cable out a little bit so it's free um and then basically here now there's a few different options you have here um you know um i stand corrected i think there is a fourth screw underneath yes there is a fourth screw on this side. So underneath the foam was a fourth screw. And is it the same over here? No. Oh, wait. Yes. So underneath the foam on both sides. So each hinge has four screws. That goes down the way you don't ever force it. Um, what I like to do on this part is, you know, get some plastic under here, pull this back. You, know, you could lift the laptop off. Once again, you risk breaking these mount mounting posts. Uh, you know, A, if you're repairing yours and you want to put it back together, you definitely don't want to break those mounting posts. Also, if um, if you're parting out like we are and your keyboard is good or, you know, or even if someone's going to buy this for repair, it's best to not have these posts here broke. Uh, these posts break, basically, nobody's going to want to buy it. At this point, once you get here, you can just grab the bottom of this laptop, pull it up a little bit, slide it out, and there's your screen. And like I said, the screen's just going to have one connector on there, and you know, that's that. Now I'm going to put this off to the side. Like I said, that's going to be sold later on. Um, there, so... Here, so on this side of the laptop, uh, basically you got the headphone jack, the card reader, and uh, it looks like a USB 3 um, and speaker. Uh, that's probably good if you broke this, you know, on yours. It's on a board, so you can actually just replace it, um, you know, instead of worrying about solder and all that. It says tape over that, you know, this is basically just to hold down the connector. So once again, pop it up. This pops up towards the side of the laptop on there. Uh, once again, this is probably going to be a little tricky just because has the tape residue on there so there we go pop that back uh, this board has one two three three screws and then that will pop out um, the speaker, uh, let's see, is that double sided tape? In there? Yeah, the speaker looks like it's taped in there, so I'm gonna we're gonna leave it in, there in a little connector here for the speaker. Just be careful. Usually, you know, wiggle it by the wire. If it comes out easy, it does. If not, then get the plastic thing on on the plastic, and you don't want to pull the wires out of the plug. Once again, makes a lot. Of, so, but there's the port right there. So anybody looking to repair that part or replace it on theirs, um, you know, they basically. You know, and these do have bottle numbers on them, but I find it easier just to, if you just go on eBay and look it up by the actual uh, model of the laptop and USB port, you know, people list on there. So there you have that. Um, like I said, this is the um, NVMe port with the ribbon. Uh, what we usually do when we sell these, this is the wireless antenna uh, going here, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, reason why I'm going to leave all this intact is just two screws that comes out if you need to replace yours, which, um, you know, with the video, but we're going to sell that all together. This speakers aren't worth money, you know, so we just, whoever buys the top, will get all those pieces. 
Um, next we go over here. So this is the wireless card. So um, so basically the wireless card, the CPU, which is i5 in this, and the memory um, is all integrated on here, which means it cannot be upgraded. If it goes bad, it's you know integrated. You know, once again, I know there's people out there going, well, wireless cards go bad. Yes, uh, if the wireless code goes bad in here, there's no port to even add another one. Um, basically, you would have to go to USB wireless sender. Um, we've done it before, sad enough, and uh, that's the only option that that you'd have. Uh, this has one antenna on it. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, one antenna. Uh, these are very delicate. So once again, with the plastic thing going there, just wiggle around all the sides of it. Uh, you know, um, don't be alarmed if it doesn't come off at first. Uh, you don't want to grab it and yank up on it because if you put that at an angle, you can break off the uh, connector on there. And on this would be horrible because, like I said, that card can't be replaced. So, so usually just keep doing that, and it will pop off. And uh, if you're putting this back together, um, once again, you know, be very careful when you put that on. You don't force it down. Uh, fan, three screws. Uh, is a part that does go bad on these on um, all laptops. So if you're looking to replace the fan. There's three screws on there. Once again, they're match it up with the make sure the wire harness only matches up if you're buying one. It's got a little piece of tape on the back, which will just slowly pull up, and then the wire. Um, same thing with this wire. Uh, you know, wiggle, pulled out pretty easy, but if not, you know, plus pleasure. Um, so there it is. Uh, the fan model for anybody looking to replace the fan is B like boy, 85, D like Dave, 5, H like Harry, B like boy, 2063. Um, basically, on the connector, the wire color combo goes red, yellow, green, black on there. They could be different on yours, but it's good to match up and via the pictures. If you're ordering one, you know, take one out. Um, and you can probably see from the picture on here uh, what that looks like. All right, so um, so now we're back to it here. So we're going to pull off, uh, once again, here's the NVMe cable connector. So we're going to do that. This was the wire that goes to the um, actual USB side port. Um, I want to keep prying that up. Uh, these both go back towards the back of the laptop. Um, as you can see, sometimes they'll fight you, uh, you know, as far as getting them off of there. Uh, but keep doing it, and it will eventually come off. All right, so I'm going to pull that out. As you look on this cable, um, for some reason, if you are replacing this cable, um, it says 2, 2 MB, which means that side would go to the motherboard. So if you took it apart, you know, pay attention to those. Sometimes these things cross inside there, and it could be, you know, so they're labeled on there uh, for people to know. Um, so what I'm going to do on this is um, I'm not going to pull off the heat sink because we're just going to we're going to sell it all together. It's not worth selling it separate. But if you're looking to re-thermal paste this, uh, be these four screws right here, you can do that without dismantling all this other stuff. And you could re-thermal paste it right there. Um, but, you know, no need for us to do that on this one. Um, so now over here, you got the secondary speaker. Uh, once again, grab the wire, pull it out towards the side of the laptop. And that comes out. Okay. And then it looks like we're good as far as wires on here. So on the motherboard. Oh, yeah. I like this motherboard. This screw was not in right. <laughs> so somebody was definitely in here so you got one screw here you got another screw here so that's two you got one screw here so that's three one screw here once again so here's a perfect example where um this screw is a little bit bigger once again um in that situation, it probably doesn't matter because it looked like the thread was the same. But, um, you know, it is good to have, have that in there. All right, so that's that. Let's see if there's any more screws. There's one more over here. All right, so that should be it.
I don't look like fried screws on a motherboard. And basically, lift up, um, wiggle, and it should come right out. And there you have it. Um, that's basically the motherboard in here. As you see, the memory is built in. The CPU and the GPU are built in. The wireless is built in. This is how most of the laptops are coming now. So you can't upgrade them. And you, you can repair them. All they said it can't be repaired. It's very expensive to repair. We do some repairs. Uh, so basically, that's it. Um, once again, you know, this is to me is like if you're trying to do a keyboard on here which this would need and you have one that you want to replace your keyboard in you would basically want to order this whole thing right here you'd want to order this everything because it's all riveted in like i said you could take them and i say look at all these rivets one two i mean there's probably over a hundred of them uh, we've done it before where that was our only option and you know you could put it all in and you got hot glue and crazy glue back on and all that but um at the end of the day um you know, pay a few extra more, get the genuine gateway top. Um, you know, and it will be hard to find on certain models like this. But uh, so there you have it. Uh, naturally, uh, I'm not gonna videotape putting the whole thing back together. Uh, you know, just because it's uh, no need to you just reverse everything you just did. But uh, any questions? I'll uh, leave in the comments. Any you know things you think we could. Uh, improve on next time we're always looking there uh we're not new to this but we're definitely you know new to the youtube side of this um everybody have a good day